Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinic, Bangalore. I'm a dermatologist in private practice from the last 16 years. What is postpartum hair loss? It is the hair loss which is faced by women after they deliver the baby. Usually it is seen after three to four months of having the baby. What is the main cause of postpartum hair loss? So you have to remember pregnancy is a very high metabolic state. So you have a lot of good hormones which are hair protective. So usually in pregnancy you see the hair growth is very good. The hair is in prolonged anagen. Basically it is, big, uh, it is there, it is getting a lot of nutrition because you are eating healthy food. The hormones are there, the blood flow is good because of the increased metabolism. The scalp is growing at a very good phase. Once you have the delivery, the hormones are going to stop. So because of that, you are going to have a lack of nourishment to the scalp and then there is going to be some amount of hair fall because of that itself. Second, you know that in pregnancy we are eating well, but post-pregnancy, post-lactation, uh, most of the women are trying to get back into shape. So there is going to be some nutritional deficit. Second, even if they want to eat, they are busy with the baby, they are trying to not they are not getting enough time to eat the regular food that they are eating. So that is again going to cause a hair fall. Third, of course, you know that the blood flow slowly decreases because the same metabolic rate is not there going to be there during the pregnancy in the lactation period. And fourth, very importantly, the stress is going to be there because you know the patient or is the woman is awake throughout the night caring for the needs of the baby. All these things are going to trigger off something called a postpartum hair fall. It can be very scary and depressing for the new mother who is have struggling to take care of the new child that she is also losing a lot of hair. It can be up to 30 to 40 percent of the total hair volume you can lose. But the good news is that postpartum hair loss always it comes back with the normal hair growth. But what you have to do to make sure that it is coming back? First thing, make sure that you are not skimping on the postpartum nutrition and the vitamins which have been given. Especially don't stop the calcium and the iron because remember these are they needed for the hair as well. Make sure you are going to get screened for thyroid, vitamin D and B12 as well. And if there is any problem with these, take the supplementation for this as well. Take a balanced diet. Don't try to uh, skimp and try to lose weight at this time. Take a balanced nutritious diet which is going to have good amount of carbohydrate as well as protein as well as lot of vegetables and fruit so that the hair is getting its support. Take it easy. Your hair will grow back. So if it is shedding, don't panic. Speak to your dermatologist. They will suggest a caffeine or a peptide based serum which is absolutely safe to use in lactation period. They will give you the supplements like biotin if it is needed. Please take them. And don't lose your uh, sleep over the hair fall. It is something which is a very natural process and the hair will come back. Last, if your hair shedding does not improve within 2-3 to three months of doing all the things that I mentioned, it is time to see a dermatologist to rule out any hormonal hair thinning which could be because of a pre-existing polycystic ovary or a female pattern hair loss and that needs to be treated with a different set of serums. So speak to your dermatologist if you are having postpartum hair loss or are worried about postpartum hair loss. Start get started on the peptide and caffeine serums and we will see you back with your crowning glory shortly.